Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 3rd of January 2023. Allow me to wish you all a very happy and blessed new year. This morning's devotional is a reading from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, which reads, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. We have just entered a new year, and with that came a whole lot of New Year's resolutions. Many of them, if not all of them, have already been disregarded. My prayer is that may this year be a truly blessed year for each and every one of us. Please permit me to add some suggestions to the resolutions which we set and have forgotten and disregarded, and these ones are more attainable. And we're able to apply these five things to ourselves and to our daily routine throughout this year. So number one, reach out to someone who does not know Christ. Jesus commands us in Matthew chapter 5 to be the salt and the light of the earth. Now salt and light are important. Light, obviously, so you can see where you're going in the dark. If you switch off the light, the darkness comes back. It drives out darkness. Number two, salt. Salt is used as a seasoning and as a preservative. But salt, just by itself, doesn't work at all. Salt has to come into contact with something. So if you put it in a, in, in a stew or in some meat, it adds flavor to that. So be the salt and the light in someone's life. It sounds scary. And when we take the risk, we'll see how God works through us. Number two, be more grateful. We wake up and then we think about all the things that we have to do, about the people that need us. And we think about this and we get depressed even before we get out of bed. So try this. Start meditating on God's word. Focus on God's character traits. Thinking about his provision and how great our God is. Your perspective will be changed. Number three, spend quality time with your spouse your children, your friends. Last year or the year before, I spoke about gardening and how we work so hard to keep the garden free of weeds so that it looks beautiful to everyone who walks past the garden. Then we get busy and the weeds come back and a marriage or a relationship can become like that. We get busy with our children, with careers, with church or whatever else keeps us busy. And we think, or spend time with our spouse or our children when life calms down. Well, we're in for a shock. Life has no intention of calming down. Don't let the weeds choke your marriage or your relationship with anyone, especially with your spouse or your children. Say no to something. Now, this is an awkward one because we do not like using that two-lettered word, that no. But remember this. We were not created to be yes men. Maturing means you postpone something that you'd like to do to focus on something more important. Ask yourself this question. In 10 years time, what will matter most? That you signed your children up for another after school activity and, or said no and had family dinners together instead. Number five, pursue Christ. With fresh vigor, David prayed in Psalm 51, Restore me to the joy of your salvation. Vary your routine. It's good to have a routine, but sometimes we can get so stuck in it, it becomes like a rut. So vary your routine. Instead of getting up and having coffee, maybe get up first and say a prayer, and then have coffee, and then vary your routine. Begin a fresh journal or diary. Write down your thoughts. Write down your feelings, your emotions, your, your prayer requests. And as the year progresses, see how they were answered and how they have changed. Above all else, let us throw off everything that hinders and run with perseverance the race that is marked out for us. My dear friends, as each morning begins fresh, so may we continue being fresh for others and more importantly, fresh for God. Commit your ways to Him. 
Ask him for guidance and trust him, not leaning on your own understanding, and he will make your path straight. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.